hello everyone and welcome back so in today's video we are going to focus on a very very important topic because in last couple of months i have received many requests that i should upload a video on how you can make the payment because a lot many people are facing issue regarding the payments on oracle website while scheduling the exam they are not able to uh, like make the payment while buying the exams so i will be focusing today on that and i make sure that you will not face any other challenges after this video and also i request you to stay connected till the end so that you don't miss any steps here so there are a lot many people who requested if you see the video content is good but uh, like there are many people who asked me to create a video especially on this like on uh, uh, they have mentioned that only check and eft options are available and there are many people who face the same so give your check number and I am, I am happy to see that there are many people who try to help also here on the comment section but still there are many people who are not able to make the payment and there are a lot many people even on my second video also there are many comments related to this how you can make the payment schedule the exam so today we'll be focusing on that so you make sure uh, not to skip anything here so that you will miss a very very important thing and you will again face the same issue so let's get started so let me first i have opened all the references that i have collected and uh, i will show you each and everything but let's get started first with the oracle website here i have opened education.oracle.com slash buy exam so here there are three options as you already know available for exam buy in this oracle cloud infrastructure we have this particular exam details available all these exams comes under this particular exam voucher so we will try to add this particular one and we'll try to make the payment for this okay i'll show you the example using this particular exam okay so let me go ahead and add this particular thing to the cart so uh, there are two quantities we'll reduce it no problem okay so i have already open i will continue as guest and i have already opened that in another tab okay now if you see here i have selected private user for the time being you can select anything if you're a company employee you can select anything but the only main folk part that we are going to focus on is the payment section okay so i have filled all the details here uh, it's a just a dummy data that i've filled here okay now we are moving on to the payment details okay okay it's asking me to enter the zip code so enter your state slash province slash reason so i will just mention Pune. okay maharashtra for the time being and zip code whatever four six whatever it is okay let me just proceed now here comes the important part now if you see uh basically it is asking whether you can put your check number or your electronic fund number so we'll not we'll keep it simple and we'll not focus on this particular first part the first part also you can try you can mention the check number that is mentioned below the check any check that you have and you can try to make the payment but that is going to be a little messy that you will receive an email and all the process you have to follow but we'll skip this particular part for now and we'll focus on the electronic fund transfer now many people asked me like in there are only two options that is correct the check and the eft now in check we have seen it's showing the check number and we are not going to focus on here so you can make the payment using eft now what exactly the details that is mentioned here oracle bank information detail first thing that you can check here this is the oracle bank details okay that is available here you can note down all these details and otherwise you can go to oracle website and you can check here on the checkout page itself okay again what it says is pay with bank transfer and fill in reference number after remittance credit card slash debit card is temporarily disabled that means credit debit option is obviously not available they are asking to pay with bank transfer and fill in the reference number here okay and they have given the bank detail that means they are asking you to make a payment on this particular bank account and whatever the reference number that gets generated just mention it here and then you just submit the order okay 
so what happens and what exactly is the reference number so this is nothing but neft or eft that whatever you do so you have the bank detail okay so simply you can go to any of the payment app and you can make the payment in this particular bank account whether it's a phone pay or google pay whatever you can enter the bank details ifc code and you can make the payment now after the payment if you see unique transaction reference it's nothing but the utr number what exactly is the utr number see i have opened the google now if you see after every transaction that you do there is a utr number that gets generated so if you see in the here there is a utr number it's nothing but a unique transaction reference number that gets generated after every transaction it's a unique transaction number so that transaction will identify whether it's a, whether you have made the successful payment or not and there are other examples also if you see this also there is a check or reference number this is some other kind of transfer again so there are a lot many images and details that you can see here so this is a transaction id so all you need to know is this utr number is nothing but your unique transaction reference number that gets generated after you make the payment here so in phone pay also if you see if you open your phone pay app directly where exactly you can see this in your phone pay app there is option called money transfer in that you will have an option called to bank slash upi id so in bank slash upi id in, you can add one bank account you can enter all these details here and you can make the payment after you make the payment you can click on that particular transaction and in transfer details in the transaction details you will see the utr number that will be generated and that utr number you have to mention here after you mention the detail and submit the order first thing you will receive here is see this kind of email you will receive from the oracle team that thank you for choosing oracle your order is currently being processed no further action is required at this particular time okay and you just have to wait okay after few days if your transaction is successful and they will check and verify your reference number that you have mentioned here and they will cross check from their end and then you will get a exact email saying that your transaction whether it's a successful or failure in my case that was a dummy number so i have received please be informed that your order placed through the oracle education website will be cancelled due to no payment received within five business days so what happens if the oracle will not receive any and they will also mention that if you still need oracle university offering please place a fresh order and make a payment to oracle bank account which was sent to you in earlier mail okay so these are the bank details they are asking to make the payment and then do this and they have also mentioned that orders without payment confirmation will be cancelled after five business slash working days so this is what happens so i hope you understood what exactly you need to do here you have to make a transaction on this particular account here okay whatever the unique transaction reference number that gets generated you have to mention it here and then you have to submit the order it will be processed it will be checked by oracle team and then you will get a successful confirmation email if there is anything missing oracle team will come back with this and if you face any issue you can connect with oracle support team also in, which will be mentioned in the email now people who faced the issue regarding the scheduling of exam what you can do is after this suppose you have already got your coupon or voucher or exam whatever you say now you can log into your oracle my learn account with the same credentials that you have okay and oracle my learn account it's a login.oracle.com what or you can directly search my learn oracle and you have to log in now suppose if i log in here it will show something like this and in here let it be load now once you'll go here in your exam purchases my exam purchase under your profile section here here you can see there are no exam purchase available for me but for you if you have purchased your account will show here that you have one exam purchase and all the details will be mentioned here after that from here itself for example i want to schedule exam for java 11 
so you can search for java 11 you can choose your certification from here filter out and suppose this is java se 11 developer exam you can click here and you can proceed with the scheduling of the exam so that is all here you can register for the exam but still if you face any issue you can let me know in the comment section we'll connect on linkedin and we'll try to help you personally on this so that is all for today let me know if you still face any issue we'll try to connect with you personally we'll connect with zoom or teams or whatever it is and we'll try to resolve this so hope you are able to uh, get the information that you needed from this video and make sure you subscribe to this channel for more informative and more contents in future thank you so much for watching and have a great day thank you